Ricky. What should we do today? <laughs> what should we do today, Ricky? the farm we're gonna wire up this 150 year old hand hewn log wood shed uh, it, we moved it from a farm a several miles over here I don't know what's that been six seven years ago something like that but this is my son Sam he's gonna do some of the wiring and you can watch us on this trek right now we're doing it uh, we're putting in 12 volt electricity running off a solar panel and a deep cycle battery we've got only about 30 40 feet away we got where we could tap into 110 volt electricity and, and that wouldn't be that big a deal but for right now we kind of wanted to play around with this solar panel already had the battery so uh you know there's there's no not much expense there so we thought we'd just kind of play with it with the 12 volt electricity for a while so sam's going to work on that today yep. and uh keep watching so we already got our outside wires ran from this side all the way back to the outside and it kind of loops around here all the way into the box now we're running the inside lights we got one more run to go to the other box and then we're gonna hook it up to the solar panel and then we'll have lights in here we'll catch you guys in the next clip This morning it's about I think it's 20 let's see here it's about 21 degrees here and it looks like it's gonna start snowing pretty soon uh, I woke up at about 6 30 to do some paperwork and stuff and uh, I was gonna come out here and finish this at about 637 and it was 12 degrees out so I didn't do that so it's about 9.30 now or so just finish up the wiring then uh, Dad's gonna hook up the solar panel and then hopefully later tonight we'll be able to have some power in here. The the clouds kind of break apart here where we can get some sun on that solar panel. Other than that, yeah, we got a couple more staples to run through the wires. Just got it mounted up as of right now. And then we'll run that solar panel. And then that's another job complete.
and we're all done. battery and lights looks good explain why we're doing this and what exactly what we're doing we moved it over here from a neighbor's shed or neighbor's farm uh, we took it all apart Tom and Sam and I took it all apart moved it over here actually Tom did a lot of the work it was built I'm guessing mid to late 1800s um, the the logs are all hand hewn you can see all the axe marks in them from when they shaped them uh, so I'm guessing mid Mid to late 1800s is when it was originally built. I'm not quite sure what kind of wood it's made out of. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure, it, but it's a hard wood. We've when we had to cut it a few pieces and stuff when we we're putting it back together. It's it's hard. It cut hard, even after all these years. Um, most of these boards here on the ends came from actually an old corn crib we had here on this farm uh, that we disassembled about that same time. That's where most of that stuff came from. The tin on the roof. The tin on the roof came from actually the old sail barn here in Princeton. So that's where the rusty tin came from. Uh, we store wood in it. And then we have the wedding couples carve their names on the wall. But we'll make a whole, we can do a whole episode about that too. Uh, so we'll do that at some other time, talk about that. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. It's been another fun day, fun-filled day here on the Degelman family farm. Uh, remember to like and subscribe. I guess there's some buttons there and maybe some other videos up over here somewhere and some kind of magic bell, whatever that means, but it's over there, I guess. Uh, like and subscribe, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow.